On this week's show, what's next for Disney Infinity 3.0? All this and more in episode 125 of the Inside Infinity podcast. Do you like Disney as much as we like Disney? Of course you do. Well, if you do, you should head on over to MediaMeltdownPodcast.com and look for the Mousecast. Bi-weekly podcast about all things Disney, Disney movies, theme parks, news, and rumors. Anything you could possibly want Disney, it's over there. Check out the Mousecast at MediaMeltdownPodcast.com. Hello everyone, welcome to Inside Infinity, episode number 125, recorded February 24th, 2015. I'm one of your two hosts this evening, Will Kelly, and joining me once again, Mr. Bowtie himself, Lim Philia. Lim, how are you doing tonight, buddy? <laughs> it's a good night. I, dude, that is like the most epic outfit ever. You have like <laughs> your, your formal like uh, tux attire underneath, and then you're sporting your Deadpool Letterman jacket. It's just That's man, right. you're, you're killing it. This is this is how I dress for work every day. <laughs> <laughs> and they let you back in the building. It's true. It's it's it, I have enough. We have enough comic and movie nerds there that. It's demanded that I come back. Nice. I'm being corrected in the chat once again. I think I said 2015. Yes, Daniel, it's 2016. With that, hello, everyone. <laughs> welcome who are watching this episode of Inside Infinity Live. would like to welcome everyone who is joining us. Thank you. You can do that each and every uh, Wednesday evening at 8 p.m. Mountain Time, twitch.tv forward slash Disney Infinity TV. Man, Lim, you're going to have to help me uh, be on my game tonight, buddy. I, I, I have a feeling I'm this might be a rough one. Time travel is tough. <laughs> Says the doctor. Are you a doctor with your bow tie? <laughs> Just saying, bow ties are cool. <laughs> That's awesome, man. That's awesome. Well, um, yeah, what have you been up to lately? I mean, you've been doing your uh, your morning streams over at Rest and uh, Disney Infinity TV. What have you been doing in the world of Infinity? It's been a while. Um, well, I've been doing Breakfast with the Bad Gamer every morning. Well, every morning. It seems like every morning. But, <laughs> it but, seems uh, like it because you love it so much. And I, it's so it's much fun, It's so right? true. I want it to be every morning. <laughs> uh, but uh, Tuesdays and Fridays, uh, I've been having some great guests on. I mean, that's, that's been fun. That's been a really, a really big thing. Uh, we have a new format now where uh, Pirate Steve... Uh, made this toy box where we just started it's a blank toy box so all the white background and all that stuff and our 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 symbol on the back you know our logo mm -hmm. the DITV then, logo yeah the DITV logo and me and the guest we go and we go to the toy dispenser and we each choose a color we pick the color and whatever comes out that's going to be the theme for our toy box challenge no way like yeah, like it, give an example of of when you say it's it, it dictates the theme what do you okay so i stepped on a vehicle and christian king of the tunas half the king of the tunas crew <laughs> <laughs> um he stepped on uh, a character and i and i got the rat catcher from darkwing duck and he got a pirate from the pirates of the caribbean mr mr gibbs okay so the theme that we had to build around was Darkwing Duck and Pirates of the Caribbean. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> so it's been a, it's been a lot of fun since that. I mean, it, it was fun before. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. Because we would take examples from the chat, but they are suggestions from the chat. But yeah, this one's just r completely random. I love that idea because it it kind of is the seat of your pants, and it's just going to make some really interesting and bizarre uh, mashups you're going to have to work with. Oh yeah, ten ten minutes. You get ten minutes to build a toy box. That's awesome, and you each build your own toy box, right? And then, uh, yeah, we and each, then you compare. We each build our, yeah, we we have one large uh, terrain mm -hmm. that we can build on. You can build as high as you want, <laughs> but it has to be fit in that square. That's awesome, man. Well, for anyone who's interested in checking those out, we uh, we we push them over from Twitch each day over to our YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash Disney Infinity TV. And uh, that's where you can catch catch up on all of the uh, the Breakfast with Bad Gamers. Bad Gamer, singular. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's the other thing. 
some days it is bad gamers because <laughs> Steve C joins me <laughs> when he's true. not on vacation. <laughs> very true. Very true. <laughs> Awesome, man. Well, listen, we're glad to have uh, have you back on the show again uh, tonight. Thank you. Uh, it's always always a pleasure. And uh, man, I'm, next time I'm going to have to check with you on, on what your attire is so I can make sure I can uh, <laughs> I can show up uh, in style as well. Uh, it's actually perfect, though. It's almost like you're going to a red carpet event, almost like you're going to uh, Hollywood Studios or something. Lim, the first news item of the week. I don't know if you saw this, but uh, Disney Infinity got some some pretty big exposure this week. Uh, oh. <laughs> over on the uh, Disney Parks blog, which is disneyparks.disney.com, uh, they had an article this week, Tuesday, talking about the Hollywood Studio Challenge winners, so the top five toy boxes. Uh, I've been playing these on, on my Wii Hours with Will streams in the morning, and these toy boxes are just phenomenal. I played the uh, Your Daddy's Midway Mania one this morning, and it was it's just spectacular. It's it's so like the real thing. It's incredible. Um, Logan, Q Lanou, and uh, Mighty Jidus, they teamed up on a toy box that won. They did uh, the Hollywood Tower of Terror, which is super awesome out as well. But... I don't know, Lim. It's all I always love seeing the Disney Infinity spo- exposure outside of the Disney Infinity community. Seeing on, yes. you know, this is a Disney run blog, but it's still really cool to uh, to to see these types of articles outside of our normal fan sites that we look at each and every week. Yeah, I think that with the implement of Star Wars, it brought a whole lot more attention to the game. Mm. Uh, there were, you know, people that looked at it and they were like, "Hey, it's a Disney game, yay!" At 1.0, "Hey, another Disney game, ooh, little Marvel, Marvel. a little Marvel sprinkled in there." Huh. that's interesting. <laughs> Starting to get it a little more interesting. Yeah. And uh, what is Star Wars? <laughs> oh, Margaret, we got to get this game. <laughs> That's I, I picture that's how the conversation goes. <laughs> but it's funny if you look at the uh, statistics on um, on the show we did last week with Christopher over at DisneyHolics.com, it, there wasn't a huge uptick at least in the people who responded to the uh, to um, that quiz and, and so that's also going to be a you know a certain demographic. Someone made a really good uh, comment in in uh, last week's show I'm gonna bring it up here because I was it was something I did not even uh, even think about and I'm like man, Star that's Wars. A, and this is t- oops, saying that as it plays over I'm like that's a really good point so Parker over there said I think something that you guys forgot is when talking about when people came into infinity is that a lot of the new people coming into infinity got it at Christmas and would take a while to get involved in the community so that's an excellent point mm. like the that uh, the Infinifan Awards, it was a year's time. And that year ended just a couple months ago. And so there's a lot of people that have been introduced in, uh, in, with the game over Christmas time, especially with 3.0. I mean, it, it really hit in that holiday season. Um, and then the, the place that's Force Awakens stuff came out right then. So there is probably going to be a little bit of lag until some of those people really get entrenched in the community. And I, I just wanted to give props to Parker because that was a really good, uh, really good yeah. comment. I, uh, I find myself at electronic stores quite, a, quite often. And um, I'm, even if I'm, you know, if I'm there for my regular job and mm-hmm. I'm just picking up some memory or whatever, and I'm still pimping Disney Infinity. You're an I walk, ambassador. I'll walk, oh, yeah. I walk by. I'm like, hey, you know that's the best game on the planet. Right? <laughs> <laughs> They're not like, even looking at the game. They're, like, looking at the headphones next to the game. And you're, yeah. you're like, hey, no. No, you see you see that over there? <laughs> I got something to sell. You, you want to see, see what it is? Yeah. <laughs> Who is this weirdo? <laughs> And then all the all the employees, the Best Buy employees, because that's where I go. Everybody knows that. <laughs> and it, it was, don't worry, it's just Lem. It's just Lem. <laughs> you're there and working. He's right. You're that there is a great day off. Just hanging out. Yeah. Well, the I, what's funny is I've actually gotten some of the Best Buy employees to buy that game, which is awesome. Really? Like like yeah. gamers or non gamers? Um. Well, gamers, but not family gamers. You know, they're sports guys or first-person shooter people mm. or whatever. 
And like, hey, you need to pick that game up. And then when they let me actually do that event, uh, the Midwest uh, meetup, um, they said uh, th- we actually had people that were there. Uh, what was the girl's name? Lexi. <laughs> uh, Lexi was like, I think I'm going to have to get this game, which is pretty cool. That's awesome. That's yeah. super cool. Well, especially with 3.0, and, and they did some advancements in this with 2.0, but with 3.0 being um, not Studio Gobo, um, Ninja Theory with the advanced uh, with the advanced combat mechanics. I mean, it's for someone, anyone who likes the Batman Arkham s- series or oh, even yes. a little, even though I don't think it's as refined, uh, the uh, Assassin's Creed combat, hand-to-hand combat makes me think of it. It's such an improvement in this version of the game. It's like just gamers in general are going to enjoy that. So Absolutely. Enjoy the comment there. Well, cool, buddy. Well, that's first news. I am um, you know, I hate to say it. It's it's probably going to be a short show this week. Um, let me see what the date. I know what today's date is, but when is the first? Do you know what that date is? That is a Monday? No, I think it's Thursday. It's now that I'm thinking Thursday? about it. <laughs> It's Tuesday. You were closer than I was. All right. Well, that's important because uh, that's when the next news items takes place. So this item is coming at you from DizKingdom.com. And it's kind of a two-parter. And this is Disney Infinity sent out a tweet this week. Bringing it up here on screen. Tune in to the first Disney Infinity Next. Presumably hosted by John Blackburn, General Manager and Senior Vice President of Disney Infinity, and Mr. John Vignacchi, Vice President of Production at Disney Infinity, present an update on what's coming next for Disney Infinity 3.0 edition. Tuesday, March 1st, 6 p.m. GMT, youtube.com forward slash Disney Infinity. So they are going to be live streaming this. Uh, It's happening at 10 a.m. Pacific time. And then uh, 6 p.m. GMT. And yeah, so it's... I, I'm curious to talk to you about this, Lim. Christopher okay. and I from Disney Hogs, we, we had lunch last week. And uh, it just happened to be the day that this announcement was... Or the announcement was released. And he and I were talking. And I'm just like, I don't, I don't get it. What We know a lot of what's coming. Uh Mm-hmm. We have La Zootopia stuff being released the same day, March 1st. There is, uh, two weeks later, a lot of uh, Marvel stuff happening with the Marvel Battlegrounds, March 15th. I know you're super excited about that. Sorry. <laughs> but we, we kind of know a lot. So what, what type of information warrants an entire mini presentation and, and live stream and so this is like an, going to be an announcement on youtube later in the day they're going to have a twitch stream where they're answering questions uh, from from people like us and and uh fans of the game about whatever they announce so what do you think is what don't we know that warrants such a kind of mini event like this because it seems kind of like a big deal if, if they're going to talk about all the things we already know about well, I think, I think that's a little bit of a loaded question because I don't. It, I've got my pipe dream answer, and then I've got my. I know. I'm pretty sure this is what it is. Answer. <laughs> okay. Okay. Which one do you want? Let's go with both. But pipe dream first, and then that okay, way we can be dream. sorely disappointed by the realistic answer. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. So pipe dream, and I analyzed this. I what I when I looked at the Disney Infinity next, I saw. A J.J. Abrams type deal thing, right. flare yep. behind the behind the X. All right, I'm bringing it, I'm bringing it up on screen right now. It's totally a J.J. Abrams lens flare. <laughs> All right. So I the the thing was I looked I saw that and I was like, oh yeah, they're bringing my X Men. <laughs> that's what Tad in the chat just said. <laughs> so yeah, that's that's that was my thing. I was like, okay, they. I know it's not it's not likely, mm-hmm. but the reaction that they got when Sculptor Heck did his his mock-ups, mm-hmm. the reaction right there, and honestly, I don't know, but could they have commissioned this guy to say, hey, you've been playing around with this stuff. Why don't you just throw it out there as fan art? 
and let's see what happens. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And and then, oh, they like it, huh? 1990s oh, X-Men. Please. Make it happen. <laughs> Especially yes. that era. I would I would die for that. Uh, it does not need to be MCU. I, and it's not even MCU. It doesn't need to be yeah. Fox. Yeah. I mean, it, if you brought in that era of X-Men, oh my gosh, you know how many fans would freaking lose their mind? You ever see you ever seen Avatar the Last Airbender? Yes. Where and he's got, he comes into the the airbending town and that one guy goes, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> That would be me. <laughs> ah, <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> Go crazy for your ex man. <laughs> Foaming at the mouth. I mean, like, I'm kick, kicking down the doors at Best Buy. Pre order! Pre order! <laughs> we, we, it's not even in the system yet. I don't care! Take my money! Yep. Yep. I'm right there with you, man. I'll be pushing you aside. I want me a Gambit. I want me a uh, Rogue. I want me a Wolverine. Uh, dude, I'm all about. Jubilee would Jubilee. be perfect in this game. Yep. Oh my god. Storm? Storm would be awesome. Yeah. She would be like oh an god. awesome flying character. Yeah. I guess so with uh, Rogue, but Man, now you're making me want to go watch those old cartoons again. Those are great. <laughs> I wonder if they're on Netflix. They they were. I they don't know were. if they still are, but they oh. were because the last season of that was horrible. The art just, just tanked. Uh, <laughs> but So And then So your pipe real. dream was X. X Men. Yeah, I, I, I yeah. But realistically <laughs> realistically i think we know it all i think yeah. now this is the official announcement of of the leaked items right like of the leaked items there's a lot of stuff that that's being released around this time again that march 1st date and that march 15th that have officially been announced but unfortunately as is always the case a lot of really awesome surprises have already mm-hmm. been leaked and so you're saying that these uh this could be announcement for those um, yet to be announced. So, in I agree with you, but unless they had this plan for a very long time, which they they very well could have, and actually they probably did, and then the leaks happen, and then it's like, ah, oh, crap, we have this huge thing planned. Well, we might as well go through with it since it's already planned. Uh, I just feel like. I'm hoping there's something else. The optimist in me is really hoping that there, it's that. So it's those leaked figures and discussing maybe some peculiarities of uh, the characters we already know that are being released. And then maybe mm-hmm. some things we have no idea of yet that, again, warrants an event. I, that's, yeah. I'm, I'm hoping. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, I think, I think that definitely they weren't planning on the French... Uh, uh, the the French article that came out, yeah, and that's probably part of this. Yep. Um, I really hope that they announce uh, another playset. I thought about that too. That would totally make sense for an event because yeah, it's also it's saying what's next for three point oh edition, and that's that's. It's broad yet specific. It's like, what's next for the platform? Eh, figures, right. yeah, that works technically, but but yeah, a, a new playset would totally fit with that idea. Right. I would I would hope, and this is just uh, again another part of the pipe dream, um, is that we get the, uh, it becomes the the uh, 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 Lego Dimensions style. Yep. Where it's just updates. Yeah. You, know, you can go out and get your figures, but yeah, you can get your play sets, but it's all going to work with the la- this is the last disc you'll have to buy. Yeah. So, and that's one thing I wanted to bring up uh, tonight. And unfortunately, Lloyd wasn't feeling well, so he wasn't able to be on the show. But, but in our internal team chat, when this came out, Lloyd was really stuck on that next piece. I think the original photo that that re- they released said tune in to what's to find out what's next for Disney Infinity and it didn't have that 3.0 edition uh, at the bottom and so Lloyd was really holding out hope that the next meant what's the future of the platform like you're saying Lim is it going to follow and and that seems to be the consensus at least of where much of the community wants it to go mm-hmm. um, and a lot of people feel that that's the direction it will go. 
Uh, I just feel like that this is not going to be that moment simply because it it does have that clarifier what's coming next for Disney Infinity 3.0 edition. So, but I don't know. I could be wrong. It, they they may have. Yeah, yeah. It could it could show the future and the future uh, distribution model, and they just didn't want to give that away via yeah. tweet, and that's why they added the 3.0 edition. Yeah. Well, what's next for 3.0? There is no more 3.0. That's what's next <laughs> <Yeah>. for. <laughs> uh, they pulled a bait Disney and switch Infinity. on us. So, um, so yeah, there's no official announcement on if a lot of the Marvel characters that that some we know like. Ant Man. I'm not even considering that a leak because they no. <laughs> themselves pulled that. Uh, yeah, that announcement. But he's an example of, of a few, and then there's some other um, other characters there. I, to be honest, I don't remember the status of those leaks at this point. It's it's a week away, so yeah. if you if you care that bad, look it up on the internet. Uh, otherwise, you I'm sure you'll find I'm, out officially. I'm next week. I'm just trying to forget who they are. <laughs> That way I can be surprised. Oh, snap! Really? Oh, yeah. Squirrel Girl! You can, you can, yeah! <laughs> you can pretend. You can lie to yourself. <laughs> um, it, it's kind of... It's it's on the same lines. Uh, so if you head over to infinity.disney.com forward slash next. So there is an official webpage for this limb. And there's a countdown. Six days until Disney Infinity Next premiere. Hmm. That adds some more credence to Wait, whoa, 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 premiere. Yeah, so so on this website, you'll see it come up on the live stream in just a moment. It says Disney Infinity Next Countdown. Six days until Disney Infinity Next premiere. Um, and then it says Disney Infinity Next Spring 2016. But then, but then again, take a look behind the magic and see what's coming next to Disney Infinity 3.0. Ah, these contradictory statements. Uh, their spin doctors are <laughs> awesome. Seriously, right? <laughs> so uh, this is going to be in kind of an all-day event. So the official announcement's happening, again, at 10 a.m. Uh, Pacific time. Following right after that, same date, 12 p.m. Pacific time, is going to be the Twitch reaction party. So, again, the fact that they're having an announcement and then kind of a, a reaction live stream kind of... Makes me think that it's going to be. Uh, it's got to be big. big. It's gotta, yeah, right. I mean, for them, because they're they're no no they're no dummies, man. Yeah. I mean, if things have been leaked, they know that the majority. Of people, it's got to be something that we don't know. Mm -hmm. I really hope it's something that we don't know. Yeah. I want to be surprised. I'm tired of all the leaks. I want to I be surprised about something. I hear you. I hear you. Uh, something else they're doing for this event, like I said, it's, it's an all-day affair. They are having a special Zootopia screening. And uh, the cool part is, some of those areas are in, uh, unfortunately, Lim, neither one of them are in our states. But I do know uh. they're in Chicago, um, <laughs> Florida, California. If you sign in, you can uh, see what screenings are in your area. Um and it's, I think, a first come, first serve basis. But that's a cool, uh, cool opportunity for you to yeah. to get to see that movie uh, early. It also, I assume, there's going to be some giveaways, and I, I would assume Nick and Judy might might be those giveaways. I have no idea about that. That's just a, a guess. But they are having special uh, screenings for Zootopia to kind of coincide with this too. So, and we know there's not a Zootopia playset, or at least we're we're about ninety nine point nine percent sure. Um, so they might just be lining that up because it, the figures are being released and it, uh, and it just adds yeah. more flair to the event. I've seen a few people actually get them already, have them already. Yeah, yeah. Those uh, early. Why does that never happen to you? I guess it kind of did with your PlayStation purchase, but that wasn't yeah. an early <laughs> thing. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> but um, yeah, man. Well. We will be having a show. I don't know. Maybe we'll have a show that Tuesday night instead of our normal Wednesday just so we can uh, do an overview. If there's a trailer, we'll have to, as always, do a DITV trailer breakdown. Those are always super fun. Rewind. <laughs> so, yeah, buddy. That's uh, Anything else about that next? Any other hopes, wishes, dreams, or expectations? Or uh, you want to put that one to bed? 
sneak stink. <laughs> Make it happen. Make it happen. Some of my all time favorite Marvel characters are are those uh nineties cartoon era X Men. I had so many of those toys growing up. It's not even funny. I mean, yeah. I, I, had, I mean that just fueled the fire for the comic collection for me. Oh. <laughs> Awesome. Well, cool, buddy. Well, that's going to wrap up the news this week. Again, there's not... A, it's weird because there's not a lot, but this is a pretty big thing, and we know yeah. next week we're going to have a ton to talk about, even if it is just rehashing uh, some of the characters we already know about, but at least we'll be able to openly talk about them. Um, but I have a feeling it's going to be much more than that. Show's not over, though. Uh, we do have some fan mail. If you'd like to oh, write yeah. into to the show, ask us questions, give us feedback. If you just want to hear your name said on the show, I'm happy to do that. You can uh, reach out to us a few different ways. You can actually call our voicemail line, 505-847-6322 or 505-VG-POD. Uh, I don't know what it is. Scratch that. Just do 505-847-6322. I need to write that out. Uh, you can leave us a voicemail. We'll play the audio live on air, which would be super awesome and a lot of fun. And you can ask it. It would be like you're on the show as a guest. Or you, or, or you can write to us, res dot, not dot, restv at gmail.com. Man, tongue-tied tonight. And uh, <laughs> someone did just that. Matt wrote in with a question. Lim, I'm really happy that you're here to, uh, to uh, answer this question. Okay. with me because it's it's all battlegrounds so it's kind of yeah. long i'm gonna read it out loud so bear with me uh, i will do it in my best radio 40s radio voice so we can uh, keep it interesting but it's a great question and so uh let's let's go with that with battlegrounds just around the corner some thoughts and questions have come to my mind and i wanted to get your take on them first what do you think the character trial is going to be like in the playset? how long can you use a trial character will there be a limit to how many times they can be used etc so that's question one. This could offset one of the figures being available for those just coming into the DI world. This could offset the one. Oh, 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 oh. So uh, what he's saying there is that the single figure release for the playset. Right. Next, and this may become a bit of a pain in the wallet for some, but given that the new Battlegrounds allows gameplay for four players locally, many may have... Uh, many may be put off for having to shell out another 50 bucks for each additional controller just to be able to do this. Did Disney miss out on a possible controller bundle similar to the Apple TV bundle? I know this is Disney's problem, or isn't Disney's problem, but I do not know many people that have more than two controllers. A bundle could have also helped broadcast the quote-unquote new features. Uh, of the four-player gameplay and soften the purchase. I'm already prepping to buy new controllers, but since I'm a, an unfortunate soul who still plays on PS3, the plan to upgrade in the PS4 in the near future, should I get DualShock 4s? I haven't been able to find any info on whether they're compatible with 3.0 on the PS3. Do you guys have any info? Thanks. Um, let us let me just mention or answer this last question here. I don't know the specifics on 3.0, I do know that DualShocks, at least at release, had limited functionality with the PS3. Um, it, 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 it worked, I think, for the most part. I think the only two things that didn't work were the trackpad, obviously, and the um, uh, motion stuff, the gyros inside. Mm -hmm. So I would buy it maybe from a place like a, uh, I think Best Buy allows hardware returns. So if it didn't work, I think you could uh, return it and just say, hey, sorry, I grabbed the wrong one or whatever. Um, but it might be worth a shot and kind of future-proof yourself. So uh, so with that, Lim, let's tackle the other two questions. So thoughts on, on character trials and kind of uh, whether or not, depending on how they use it, it how it could help that single character release. Well, we've uh, we've actually seen character trials already. Mm -hmm. uh, we've seen character trials in, uh, in the Inside Out playset. Yep. And I, they were, you know, there were a couple of a couple of minute trials, and the uh, the the nature of the brawlers is these are short these are short little fights. Yeah. And it's a playset. You know, so. It's okay. Hey, bad guys coming in. Oh no, that's a good guy. Okay, I'm gonna go beat him up. Beat him up. Beat him up. Beat him up. <laughs> Done. You know, 
that's kind of the nature of the way that works. Yeah. I mean, you can you can drag you can uh, drag the uh, the battles out a little bit, but I know with Power Stone, my goal was to knock them out yeah. as fast as I could. You know, and I, I'm I'm playing that Marvel Contest of Champions now on my mm-hmm. phone. I can't stop. You're loving it, right? <laughs> <laughs> like um, daily, you send us screen caps of who who what oh, character you've unlocked. Oh my gosh, dude! It's not it's not even funny how much I've I've, I've got unlocked <laughs> right now, and I haven't spent a dime. Nice, <laughs> proud of you. But um, it's like I wanna I wanna just you know knock those guys out. Mm-hmm. So I think that the character trials are only going to be a, a minute or so. I think that it's going to kind of offset that. I want to, you know, the, being able to uh, have a different character. If mm-hmm. you didn't have 2.0 and were out and get all the Marvel characters within two weeks that you could. Yeah. Um, I mean, not that I did. <laughs> no. But if I did. <laughs> <laughs> Where's your sense of uh, commitment, Lim? <laughs> not that I did. But if I did, because mm-hmm. <laughs> I did. <laughs> <laughs> so you think that they would actually like? My thought is is that it would last at least the at least the round. Because what happens if you're mid round and it only it lasts two minutes, yet your trial only lasts a minute? You think that they're gonna they would pull the character out from under you while you're uh, mid fight? Um, I would say that. It could be. I think it. I think it would definitely be timed. Yeah. You know, like you have to beat this person within this amount of time. Mm, that's a good play point. set. You yeah. know, so it's like, all right. Um, good lord, I was playing. Oh, uh, injustice, gods among us. Mm-hmm. How you know? There's a timer for a fight. There's a yeah. countdown timer, and most cu- timers last how long? Ninety nine seconds. Yeah. You got that's a, a good minute. Point. You know, a minute and you know, a minute and a half, a minute and forty change. seconds. Yeah, yeah. So, hmm. do you think so? Uh, does Lego Dimensions has this, and and as you mentioned, Inside Out playset does as well. The way Lego Dimension handles this, so it, you don't spam that use, is it it costs uh, in that game gold bricks or not gold bricks? Um, oh studs, gosh. studs. Thank you. Yeah, so you you have to pay for those, and so you're actually giving something up to play as those characters. And in theory, as long as you have studs, you can you can keep purchasing them. But each time you do that, the next uh, level costs a little bit more. So it might be twenty five hundred the first time. I think it's actually twenty five thousand the first time, and then like fifty thousand the time after that, and seventy five thousand after that. Uh, because I doubt Battlegrounds is going to have areas blocked off that you need certain characters to get get through which is kind of what the uh inside out they had gated off areas that you needed certain characters to get through and that's i think part of the reason they gave you those trials i i don't expect that i this is just my thoughts anyway i don't expect that in battleground so i could totally see them with the trial system having a a spark monetization where mm. it's like I'm having to use my hard earned sparks of of some kind. Maybe they're just sparks specifically earned in battlegrounds uh, to pay for those. So hmm. I actually, know. that I I didn't even think of that. That's actually really good. Good thought. Time will tell. It's crazy how close it is. We've been waiting for this for a long time. It seems like I can't even remember when they officially announced it and went through the gameplay and stuff but it seems like a long time ago um what are your thoughts on the inclusion of controller so at least another controller or a two controller bundle um i i don't i I can't see it happening yeah you know and it might be because i've Generally speaking, I always have at least two controllers. Mm-hmm. You know, I've got kids in the house, and so you better have two controllers. <laughs> right. If you've got a game that can be two player, it bet you better have two controllers. Yeah. Uh, we actually, for the Xbox, we have three controllers, and for the uh, PlayStation, we have two controllers. And we, uh, it, with it being a single, pl- it's technically a single player playset. 
it can go up to mm-hmm. four player, mm-hmm. but it can be a single player playset. Um, I don't see the, any reason why Disney would, like you said earlier, you know, it's not their problem. Right. You know, I don't see why they would do it. You know what? I, I'm going to agree with you on this one. Um, the 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 point Matt's making with the Apple TV version that does include a controller, uh, that's a a specific kind of outlier example where that device doesn't include a single controller. Yes, you can play with you can play the Disney Infinity 3.0 on the Apple TV with the included controller. But it's it's pretty bad, all things considered. Uh, it's nice to have if that's all you have, but you definitely, mm-hmm. if you're going to play it seriously, you want a controller. And the fact that you're buying some hardware for a device that traditionally you you've never, it, it's it's a new type of purchase for that consumer, the the person who's bought the Apple TV one and then the two and then the three and now the four. Uh, it, I think it kind of eases the blow of hey, you're getting this base, which you may or may not understand, these figures, which you may or may not understand, but everyone knows what a, a game controller is, and, and mm-hmm. that's going to enhance your experience, whereas everyone with their system comes with at least one one controller. So I'm definitely going to gonna land on your side with uh, this as well. I don't, I don't know if they necessarily missed the boat um, by excluding a controller, because yeah. a lot of people then are going to have the argument, well, I already have two controllers, or I already have three controllers, I would rather spend less money on the playset starter pack than uh, and without a controller than being forced to buy another controller. Which yep. would be my stance. I have two, and I only have two players in the house. So, um, Tad in the chat, Lim, is asking... Uh, same, he knows we've talked about this before, but do you think there are going to be new toy box toys unlocked with uh, battlegrounds i assume battlegrounds yes. yeah i agree yes. i i mean there is i it would be the first place that that didn't unlock something i mean everything mm-hmm. that's kind of like the the magic of disney yeah. infinity yeah. you play the game you get stuff unlocked to play in the in the toy box yep what i want is the ability to build a battlegrounds area like that. We have the the uh, mountaintop battle arena, mm-hmm. um, which I still want to do. So, <laughs> guys, anybody out there, let's build an arena. Tad, I'm talking to you. <laughs> we've talked about this. <laughs> um, so part of the groundwork I, is there. I, yeah, it's part it's part there, but it's you don't have the interactive pieces, the ability to smash through the yeah. ground, and I think that would be great. Multi-level battle arena type deal thing. Yeah, I, totally. I want like it to be a modular system where you can you can have like a certain amount of walls that you can just connect together and you can make it multiple stories, and they have these uh, breakaway points in each one of those that you can then design around. So it's like, okay, if... If I have the square room and the wall breaks away this way, then I'll have a square room here, and then I'll have another square room in front where I could break away, and then that makes a new room, and then the same for below. Um, exactly. I mean, imagine the possibilities. You could you could use that outside of a battlegrounds even, and just really make some dynamic uh, experiences within the toy box with kind of destructible environments, even if it is pre-destructible destroyed i don't know you know <laughs> destroyed yes destroyed, destroyed. <laughs> not destructed yeah no english english yeah. no good it's no good <laughs> so um yeah i don't know man that's that's exciting i think there's gonna be some really neat things that come out of that place up for the toy box uh man i might take the day off do it do it and stream I'm... all day on ditv Oh man, my wife would kill me. <laughs> it takes so many of your boxes. This is like the playset that was made for Lem. Yes, 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 it was. <laughs> well, keep me posted on what you decide. You have two weeks to figure it out. No, I guess you have three weeks now. Yes, ish. Uh... <laughs> well, cool, buddy. Well, Matt, thanks so much for writing in with those questions. Uh, great thoughts. Some things that I'd never even thought of. So, uh, so thanks for writing in. And again, remember, if you want to write in, you can do that restv at gmail.com or 505-847-6322. Leave us a voicemail. 
Lim, buddy, have anything else you want to talk about Disney Infinity? Or, uh, cause that's, um, that's it for the news. Uh, keep an eye out on the Disney Infinity Instagram and Twitter. We've, and the Res TV Twitter. We've got some announcements coming up. Got some, I'm pretty excited about. Got some giveaways, huh? Yeah. Assuming that's what you're referring to. We have lots nope. of, like, lots of movement <laughs> going on. That's not on. what I'm referring to, but. Good. That's something else to look forward to. Um, yeah. Yeah, we, we have big plans for not only DITV, but Res and, and that uh, that partnership, that network partnership. So, uh, Lim, you have some special things brewing. That's super exciting. Oh, yeah. Like, I, I don't know if, if you guys follow me on Twitter and Instagram. I, 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 pit, I uh, put a, Nick, a picture of Nick Fury up today because that's how I felt. <laughs> Is that what I, because you tagged me in it and I'm like, yeah, I don't get it. There's no caption. <laughs> <laughs> like this is how I feel today. <laughs> that's awesome. That's awesome. Well, cool, man. Well, uh, where can people find you on the internet? Um, it's a matter of where can't you find me? <laughs> <It's> true. <laughs> You're all um, over the but place. mainly, I am on Instagram as DisneyInfinity.tv, Bad Gamer Official. Um, and if you like concert photography and all that stuff, you can find me as the underscore ninjographer. That's Ninja Grapper. <laughs> Um, but also on Twitter as part of the time Disney Infinity uh, Disney Infinity TV, TV yeah. uh, part of the time as Res TV, part of the time as Bad Gamer Official, and uh, Ninjographer. I believe that's it. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's the so main many. ones. Okay. So so yeah, I think the list of where you're not is is uh, shorter <laughs> than where you're at. That's for sure. Yes. Facebook, uh, DisneyInfinity.tv. <laughs> you're awesome, man. And the Instagram update that came out recently, uh, allowing finally allowing multiple accounts, is a lifesaver for you, huh? Oh, thank God. Well, it's still not enough. <laughs> no, but it'll do. It's helpful. It, yeah, <laughs> baby steps. It's helpful. Yes. <laughs> Well, not only that, they can find you on all those social media uh, channels, but you do live streams every every week and a few times a week. Yep, um, I do live streams on Res TV on Mondays, uh, Mortar Mondays, which I'm so frustrated with right now. Those Uruks are <laughs> driving me nuts. I'm so frustrated with it. <laughs> Not the stream, the game. Right. Uh, but you can also find me on Tuesday and Friday mornings uh, here on Disney Infinity t- uh, uh, Res uh, Twitch TV slash Disney Infinity TV. Tuesday and Friday mornings, seven a.m. Breakfast with the Bad Gamer, and you never know, you could hear some of your favorite people from Instagram, Twitter, the Disney Infinity community on because we do do guests. Yeah, and on the weekends you've been uh, playing Battlefront, right, with uh, with friends of the show as well. Yep, bad at Battlefront on. We haven't settled on a time yet, but, <laughs> but it generally happens but, Saturday or Sunday, right? Yeah, Saturday or Sunday we do uh, we do bad at Battlefront, um, and uh, Heather, who's in the chat, is uh, usually a regular. Uh, Reese, who is Disney gamer, is usually a regular. Uh, Infinite Carry or Carry Nugent's a regular, and then we. Uh, Whenever she's available, our ringer, Sarah Krellen. <laughs> she's the she's the old she's the good one on our team. Uh, uh, and and Reese. Reese is actually pretty good too. Yeah. But then we usually have a guest or two on as well. Cool. I love seeing those. Uh, it's been it's been really cool watching those live streams and, and listening to you all having a good old time in there. So so lots of moving over there. Uh, you can I alternate with Lim on the mornings. He's not streaming. I do Wednesdays and Thursdays, wee hours with Will. So doing live streams in the morning. Love seeing all of our friends who, uh, a few that are in the chat tonight, were there bright and early this morning chatting away with me. So uh, so love doing that. And we're doing lots of res stuff as well. We're doing lots of just general live streaming over there. So uh, stay tuned. We are releasing a universal schedule for that really soon. With that, Lim, I think we're going to call it tonight, man. Thank you so much for uh, being on the show tonight. Really appreciate it, and I think it was a really good one for you to be a part of. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. Battlegrounds hype! <laughs> Battlegrounds hype. All right, buddy. Well, you have a good one. Thanks to everyone who uh, who tuned in live. We appreciate it. And if you're listening to us after the fact, we appreciate that as well. Thanks, everyone. 
Hope you enjoyed the show, and until next time, we hope your week is filled with infinite possibilities. We hope you enjoyed this week's episode of the Inside Infinity Podcast. I think we came to the conclusion that more shows need more X-Men, and that makes it a good show. If you like what we do, please check out our social networks. Uh, if you want to support the show in a monetary fashion, head over to patreon.com forward slash Disney Infinity TV. Over there, you can become a patron of ours, and uh, there's no donation that is too small. We appreciate all of our patrons. You saw our Hall of Heroes scrolling at the top there, so thank you all. Also, please check out our partner slash parent network, res.tv. It's youtube.com forward slash res.tv. Really appreciate a, a follow over there on Twitch and on YouTube as well. Thanks again, everyone. We'll see you next week.